but I do want to check the situation log because I could have sworn there was one more thing we wanted to mess with. Oh, that's right. We want to probe the dimensional portal of Queen Thickdom. <laughs> oh my god. I, I'm I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry. I sometimes I have the maturity of a of an elementary school child. Let's get good. I am the gamer under development, and this is Endless Stellaris. We are trying to recover from some mistakes that I made. Uh, thankfully, folks have been commenting on the videos and providing advice because I am doing very bad things like building uh, way too many districts that basically don't have people to fill the jobs there. So we're going to have to survive my failures as a, a player <laughs> for a little bit. Which should be okay. I mean, we got another of these science ships rolling, and that's useful. So we're gonna we're gonna start working on just expanding and doing uh, some of the exploration stuff. And from now on, I'm basically not gonna build stuff unless I get little notifications like this that say, "Hey, you need to build stuff." Um, okay. So for this one, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is Ancastar Station, and I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna load up on Trade Hubs and the Offworld Trading Company. Now, in order to build the off-world trading company, we do first have to have our trade hubs. So that is something that's going to take a second to build out. But once we have both of our trade hubs, we should be collecting trade from Beta Aquila here. And also from uh, Riak here. And let's take our new science ship right here. And where do we want to send him? Where are you going first? Okay, so with our new science ship, we're going to go ahead and send him over here. To survey this system this system, this system, uh, and somebody gave some great advice about control shift being able to move something to the front of the queue, and I've been using that lately to explore anomalies as they come up, and it is super, super helpful. So thank you very, very much for that feedback as well. Uh, honestly, guys, all of your feedback has been phenomenal and has helped me out a lot, because I, I am very new to Stellaris. I really don't understand some of the way the systems work. Uh, they're a little bit more complex than, than my brain is prepared to deal with sometimes. But we're getting there. We're learning. Things are getting better. Uh, so are you actually... Okay, you are investigating. That's what we wanted. Perfect. Everybody go. And we're going to turn our speed up to times three here because we want things to just happen. Like, that's really where I'm at. I just want things to happen so I have things to do because I'm... I'm System survey. Definitely... Uh, behind here a little bit on consumer goods for example we're losing negative four per you know per tick but the good news there is we have 1.5k built up so we don't really need to worry about that too much uh all right guys do your things get get the jobs done i have faith in all of you you shall extend the great lumeris empire we still haven't encountered another species which is interesting uh okay research has completed we have the coil gun tech now Wow. Technologies are categorized huh. into three different fields, <laughs> with each field huh. having three available research options. Okay, so this is a very intriguing option right here. Corvette build speed and Corvette build cost would be great for when we do need to militarize. Carrier operations would give us access to the hangar base starbase module, which is kind of cool. Um, then again, planet build speed plus 25%, assembly patterns is pretty good too. My, my curiosity is, does this affect the build time of new colonies? Because if it does, then this is phenomenal, and if it doesn't, then it's not great. Since we don't know on that, I'm going to err on the side of standardized Corvette patterns here, because I think that's something that's going to be useful no matter what we do. Uh, speaking of colony ships, we do have another colony ship heading to a new colony that looks to be gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I guess I shouldn't use that word, though, because technically we're not the Horatio, you know? System survey complete. Okay, system survey is completed down in Tazri, I think. Awesome. What else have we found down there? Nothing particularly amazing. Uh, our construction ship is doing something, right? Yes. It's building a starbase. Uh, so while he builds those star bases, though, can we, can we send him to build another starbase yet? Do we have the resources? We do. Okay, so now we need to decide where we want to extend our reach to next. We could come down here and keep filling this out, but that seems sort of unnecessary. Uh, we wanted that because it was just a flat 7 energy credits, and that's just a really, really nice gain. 
Coming up here to Riok would give us access to that trade value, which is something we're trying to accrue, especially now that we've set our trade value to also generate unity, which is very, very useful. I think, yeah, we'll probably... Well, now that we can actually build an outpost and build improvements, it actually is time to make a second construction ship. That's, that's to me, the sign that we should be doing that. I'm gonna send them there to build an outpost, and then I'm gonna come here and build a second construction ship for us, so that we can send that one down to start building out, like, the other things in systems, uh, such as the mining stations and stuff. Alright, good. I, th I think that's progress. I think we're actually making progress, and I'm actually doing something right for a minute, guys, because we didn't build it before we needed it. However, we are losing consumer goods at a slightly higher rate as well now, which is not exactly fortunate for us. Uh, yeah. Build that, and then do me a favor and build that as well. Good job, buddy. Good job. Nailed it. Okay, so everything should be getting kind of built out. The consumer good thing is a little bit of a problem, but it, it's really not that big of a problem. And the reason it's not that big of a problem is because uh, with the consumer goods, we can always go to the market and trade to sort of shore up our weaknesses. Research is complete on removing toxic kelp tile blockers, which is going to be useful since oceans are one of our primary planets. Pop growth speed plus 10%. That is just... Mm, I, I think we're going for that. Pop growth speed is something that is relatively slow in the early game from my understanding, so anything that will increase that is something I want. Uh, we can't upgrade this quite yet because we don't have 10 pop here, which is, you know, to that point, pop gain is a thing. Um, and I know that there is a... <laughs> This interface throws me every time I use it. There we go. So, Toxic Kelp here, if we remove it, we would get access to Green Hills and Teeming Reef. Neither of those are absolutely useful right now, and we don't really need the extra district, so I'm not going to worry about clearing blockers there. Uh, yeah, we're fine. As our empire grows, new colonies will automatically be organized into sectors. Oh, okay. from the planets and sectors screen to automatically build and upgrade districts and buildings using assigned pools of minerals and energy. Okay. The uh, planets and sectors screen provides an overview of all our colonized worlds, their pops, and their resource output. As our empire grows, it will be automatically organized into sectors, which are vital to administering larger empires. Okay. Interesting. So basically, personal use has just become its own sector and does not have a leader, but it needs one. So let's go find one. Idle governors, scientists, admirals, and generals. Leader experience gain, food from jobs, leader lifespan. Hmm. Food from jobs seems really, really good, but he's also very old. Very, very old. Um. Leader experience gain is also very potentially good. I think a agrarian upbringing is probably going to be more useful, though. I, I don't know exactly what a food what effect food has on population growth. I don't think it really does affect population growth. I think it affects, like, your ability to sustain population, but not actually the speed at which it grows. So for that reason, maybe this isn't as useful, and instead I'm going to go for that guy. Uh, nope, nope. I don't want to change his name. There we go. Beautiful. So we have a second sector now. Uh... As, as cool as that is, I don't really know what all that means. But sure, we have a second sector, and we can choose to focus it on different things. Uh, I'm going to go with leaving it alone for right now. I'd rather manage it all myself at the time of, of this, because I don't trust the AI enough, because I don't even know what I'm doing. I mean, honestly, the AI might do a better job than me, but I I'm not going to roll the dice on that one. So discovery, I've told, is, I've been told, is one that I should just basically wait till the end with now, because uh, you want to either take it first or last, and then prosperity up here is something that I think I was eyeballing and really wanted. So yeah, let's do that. Let's adopt prosperity here, and the good news is, if we go ahead and adopt this one, it'll reduce the upkeep on those additional districts that I built preemptively by ten percent. So yeah, maybe maybe that'll help counter my bad play to some minor degree. Uh, this, I guess, is actually a bad thing. A wormhole can be a very, very bad thing, so that's kind of scary that we have one, like, two away from our, our first system. Crushed Cruiser. 
The shattered remnants of a cruiser-sized starship can be detected in a decaying orbit deep inside the atmosphere of Vorsham 4. It appears to have ventured far into the gas giant's atmosphere, perhaps in a desperate attempt to escape a pursuer only to be crushed by the atmospheric pressure. The vessel is too deep to be salvaged, but a structural scan of the wreckage has provided us with some interesting engineering data. A remarkable vessel. So we get engineering research for that, which is awesome. No complaints there. Oh, you are idle, aren't you? Yes, you are. You just finished that thing and now you're idle and that's not okay. No idle hands in this empire, sir. Get to work. Uh, okay, so I think what I'll do with this guy now, since we, we did sort of finish that and we've investigated what looks like all of our anomalies in here, let's send him up here. He can survey this system and this system. Oh, and this is another thing I'm trying to be better about. Instead of using the right-click menu, I can just do this. That is so much smoother. Uh, thank you for the, the tip to use the, the actual interface for those. I believe that was Cat, but it could have been multiple people because I'm really bad about doing that and everybody seems to have a better clue about it than I do. Uh, Alright. Excellent, though. Loving, loving being able to program all of that so quickly. And things are going okay. I mean... You know, Queen Thictum is a a reasonable colony. It's got four population now, so that's good. It's it's slightly growing. <laughs> uh, all right, pause. The negotiations for appointing a new chairman are underway. The decision will be announced on four one twenty two twenty. All right, cool. Uh, impressive structure. Litteramia's vase surface practically begging for some archaeological work. Now, my question is, if I do the con the control shift thing here and I click research, will that add that to the front of his queue? And we're gonna test that out, I think. This is Karba, 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 Karba. Can't you see? Which one are you? Uh, well, it's on Mia's, so it's that one. Let's see. Let's go... Control Shift Research, and then check the Mia's one out. He is investigating Mia's and he maintained his other orders. Awesome! That is great, 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 great. I love it. Uh, you, sir can either build the next star base, which looks like it's going to be here in Mias. Oh, Mias isn't finished uh, being investigated yet, so that's fine. Instead, we will go for a star base down here in Dandar, I think, which also has a nice ocean world on it. Oh, gotta stop things, gotta stop things. Oh, okay. One of our scientists potentially got elected or died. Busy commanding that, busy leading. Yeah, he got elected, I think. That's crazy. Okay. So we need a new scientist for this. And what research was he doing? Hey! Pop growth speed. And what do we have here but this? Research biology. Beautiful. We'll take that guy. Uh, okay. An anomaly has been found. We already dealt with that. And a ruler was elected. Yeah. That's, that's sort of unfortunate, though, I think, because the other ruler we had was pretty nice. Um, so let's go check our leaders now, because I think that means that... Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what just happened there, guys. I think that that is, that is her right there. And I'm not sure what happened to our former governor or where he ended up. Like, is he a leader that we're, we're just not using now? Busy commanding, busy leading, busy leading, busy investigating. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he passed away. You got me. Yeah, I'm gonna let the timer tick for a second, see if we see any changes based on that. Doesn't look like it. So yeah, I'm not I'm not entirely sure what happened there or how our our scientist suddenly got uh, disconnected from the research. Hmm. All right. Well, somebody watching will understand and explain it to me. I'm guessing perhaps our our original leader like died or something, and that's why she got elected to take his place, and now she's doing that instead of uh, you know anything else. And actually, we were looking at using him to expand borders, but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense here. Instead, I'm going to have him build that research station there, and then this guy who's working on this stuff will end up extending a starbase here and hopefully out to here because we want that trade value right there. That's some real, real nice trade value. 
Uh, and right now it is one, two, three, four systems out from Ancaster. So theoretically, if we upgrade our starbase enough here, we should be able to gather those resources pretty easily as well. It's honestly only three out of our main capital, but our main capital probably doesn't, it does have one trade hub, but it's not gonna, we're not gonna build three trade hubs here necessarily. Uh, ooh, trade routes. Trade between our planets will become an increasingly large part of okay. economy. So I think we've looked at this to some degree. Collect trade value within their system to be routed to the capital for conversion to energy credits. Okay. Yeah. So anyways, we're going to we're going to just keep on going cuz I'm confused by the the switch of leadership. Mias Va is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall cenotaphs carved from some mineral not native to the planet, evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monolith's flowing lines deftly chart a history so fantastical it must surely be fiction. Surely. Uh, okay, cool. So that was a, a fun little thing to find. I actually didn't read what we got from that because I'm a spaz, so apologies to everybody who wanted to know. System survey. Uh, okay. Please tell me you're not done with all your orders. Good, you're not. You're not. Thank you. Um, he will be soon, though, so I'm going to go ahead and queue up that, 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 ah, come on, that, yeah, sure, there. Queue up everything. Make this guy work until he's dead. Okay, please. That's all I want. <laughs> I don't want to deal with him anymore. <laughs> so we have a star base here, too, that we haven't really upgraded at all. And I mean, we could so that we can build some platforms, but we don't really need to with them just yet. We got our fusion reactors here, so let's see what new research is available to us. Research, uh, research speed plus 5% is available. I'm going to go ahead and take that for right now. And then we have our, whoops, our construction ship up here, who is done doing all his construction-y things. So let's send him to perhaps build a starbase uh, on, well, we want Mias, but we can't get Mias just yet. We also can't get this system just yet, so I mean, realistically, all we can do is come over here and get Hyon. So we'll have him do that. Come get Hyon. We're going to wrap up everything eventually anyway, so go get that one. I mean, he owns a decent system. It's got some nice minerals in there, which will help us. Uh, okay. Anomaly found. Oh, all right. Research it. Ah, we got this down now, guys. Control shift is amazing. Okay, control shift is amazing. I'm starting to feel like I understand one thing about this game. That's a that's a step ahead. I am having fun though. I I dig the way that this is sort of less like directly competitive necessarily than, uh, than say an endless space where you're basically waiting for the first confrontation. Like here, we're just kind of focusing on expanding our empire and building trade out. And that's cool. I like that. I like trade. Trade is awesome. Uh, okay. Speaking of which beta Aquilae is now providing us two trade value because we have those two trade hubs. And now we're going to go ahead and build an off world trading company here, which will cause two trade value for each trade hub, so that'll increase our trade value by even more, which will mean our unity will go up even more, since we're now converting trade into unity, which is super cool. Because, like, I didn't know that was a thing, guys, and that is the coolest thing. Being able to do that is huge. Uh, oh, yes, do build a star base here, and then when you're done, I'd like you to come back here and build mining spa stations, and you, you can build mining stations there later, that's fine. We're gonna get a star base here on Dandar though, which I'm excited about because it does have that five trade value right there. That's hot. Uh, okay, the hostile and unforgiving world of Hazra II was home to what once appears to have been a large Cybrex base. Nothing remains of it now aside from scattered debris and a large crater. We will have to investigate the site of the base more closely if we are to learn more. Excellent. Uh, situation log is updated. Uh oh. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Situation log, where are you? There you are. Okay, so we have a new thing from Situation Log. We have, was it the Cybrex thing that probably updated? It is probably updated. Uh, boink. Hazara 2 has one science ship. Do that. And I control shifted there, so it should work. Uh, probe the dimensional portal on Queen Thickdom. Interesting. Uh, let's let's get somebody over to do that. 
But first, let's see what this is. Active scans of Sruduma, Sarudma, Sarudma. I have picked up what appears to be a large ship deep inside the atmosphere of the gas giant. Judging by the nearby debris, there have been several failed attempts to salvage this derelict in the past. Any ship strong enough to withstand such crushing gravity must be a magnificent prize, and Science Officer Carb has proposed a salvage project of our own. So we can bring it up, whatever it is, or we can say the effort is too great, leave it down there, and gain 50 influence. Uh, while that 50 influence would allow us to expand, I think this is better. Situation log updated. One science ship is present, but it won't let me do it. Okay. And that is, I believe, right here in Hazra. Oh no, that's the ancient Cybrex base. So yeah, you're gonna research that. Good job. You, you do the research thing there. Can you do the research thing here? Yes, you can. And we control shifted, so that should put it at the very front of our queue. Uh, all right. I think that's that's the things we needed to do. But I do want to check the situation log, because I could have sworn there was one more thing we wanted to mess with. Oh, that's right. We want to probe the dimensional portal of Queen Thickdom. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I'm I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I sometimes I have the maturity of a of an elementary school child, and when when I say we want to probe the dimensional portal of Queen Thickdom, it just makes me roll laughing because it, it's kind of funny, guys. Come on, you have to admit that's funny. That's funny right there. That is just funny. That is objectively funny, and you will have to admit this. I'm telling you right now. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy and send him straight over here to Queen Thickdom because we need him to move there to research that project. Although it looks like he can't because he doesn't have an option to... We don't need a ship to research this. Oh, okay, cool. That's even better. So let's grab his surveying then again and say, yo, come... Sur nope, nope, not, not shift click, regular click. Okay, survey there. Thing, thing, please. Can I just cancel his orders? Huh. No, I can't. Okay. So please survey there. Excellent. There we go. And now I'm going to click the survey thing again, and we'll just have to reroute him to a couple of systems to make sure that he's doing it all again. I shouldn't have messed that up like I did, but I thought we had to have a ship there to research that, because it wouldn't let me do it in the situation log, but it's saying we don't need a ship to do it, so I am probably just being a spaz. There we go. Awesome. Okay, all set. And then we have this science ship, which should be doing things like that. Cool. Okay, everybody's ready to go. <laughs> uh, all right. So he's done there. Let's have him build out the mining and research stations here then. And then after that, we'll see if he can come over here and build a starbase. Perfect. Go, guys, go. I probably should be using their their things in their panel too. I'm just not fluent in the panel thing yet, and the right click feels like super convenient to me, but I guess it's it's honestly it's a little bit slower. I'm just not used to using the panel. But I will try, guys. I will get better at using the panel. Uh, everybody's doing things, right? Yes, good. Pause. Uh, yeah, go for it. Just just go ahead and research that anomaly. I don't care how difficult it is. Do the things. Ah. Okay. Survey complete. Anomalies discovered. Good. We dealt with both of those. Keep ticking! Oh, hey, that's nice. That was a nice little pop there as Dandar became one of our systems. Uh, and then once he finishes that, I'm gonna have him come back to Dandar and build a mining station there. I'm gonna check in here and see what our pop is at. It's still only at four, sadly. Um, darn. Would really like that to grow a little bit faster, but I don't know how that even works. Like, I'm not sure how we boost our growth. Oh, here we go. Base grow is 3. Growth progress is 64 out of 100. Base growth speed reduced by 50% due to the planet being newly colonized. Chairwoman Dorakina provides plus 5%. A new life provides plus 10%. Growth encouraged that provides plus 25%. Okay, so we've probably done everything that we can really do to speed that up, right? Yeah, encouraging planetary growth. Oh, wait a minute, did we ever do that edict? We didn't do the healthcare edict, guys, that's huge. Okay, do the healthcare edict. 
I didn't start that. I should have done that at the start of the episode. I really should have, but it's okay. It's on now. We're learning. It's on now. Whoops. Special project complete. In a masterful display of engineering, the team under Science Officer Carp has managed to gently raise the derelict ship on Srudma 1 to the gas giant's upper atmosphere. Despite its age, the ancient cult or cruiser is in remarkably good condition, and we have restored power to its systems. No trace of the original crew remains, but we have brought over our own and commissioned the ship into the fleet. Ooh. Carb gains 200 experience. Uh, plus one Cybrex artifacts discovered or recovered. Engineering research gains 150. We have found debris on Hazra 2 from a large ship that does not appear to have been of Cybrex origin in the crater that was once the site of their base. Our archaeologists speculate that the ship belonged to one of the organic civilizations under Cybrex attack. It, if so, it may have been sent to collide with the base on some kind of suicide run. No other explanation for the destruction of the base has been found. Awesome. That's, that's kind of great. Uh, so we did get a cruiser there, though, it looks like. Hey, yo, that's awesome. You're gonna come back here, then, and fleet up with those guys. You already have your job, you're fine. You have your job, you're fine. Uh, we do have a science ship here on Hazra that needs a gig. Whoa, wait, wait, where, where, where? Probably are. Their true nature will remain a mystery okay. until we complete the appropriate project to investigate them. Okay, so they're on... So post -haste. They're, they're on Akrux. Us first. Okay, they're on Akrux. We're going to make that a, a priority. Uh, we've encountered fellow wanderers among the stars despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile. The atmosphere of on genes following the report from our contact fleet can best be described as rapturous. Okay, so everybody's excited. We found some new aliens. They're They're very excited by this. Let's get that research rolling. Uh, okay. I think other than that, we're doing okay. Yes. Whoa, how did we suddenly find all these, like, potentially habitable planets? Interesting. Wow, look at the size of those. Those are just gorgeous size-wise. I can't wait to get my hands on them. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's speed up the process of getting our hands on them. I guess not. That It doesn't make sense to necessarily send a science ship up there to do that. Uh, although at this point, it's kind of like, well, what do we do with this extra science ship? Because everybody's kind of searching stuff, and we're, we're not needing him specifically to continue searching. Did we unlock auto-explore? I don't think we did. We did not. Uh, it would have been nice to get, and it may actually be in progress right now. I'm not entirely sure. Let's... We'll worry about that later. For right now, I'm going to send him over to just start expanding out a little bit more, I think. Or you know what? Let's let's try something a little different with him. Order the science ship to aid the scientific ex effort of a planet increasing research output. Do it there. Does that work? Did he get assigned that? No, he didn't, because it has to be a specific planet. Okay. Um, that being said, I don't know if we have a planet that is so great in, in research that increasing the output matters, so I'm not going to do that anymore. That, that just seems silly now. Uh, okay. Go out here. Just, just go out here and survey this stuff. That's fine. Just keep extending our reach. Okay. Good to go. Veer, you can, you can go bye-bye now. Uh... We may actually want that cruiser to deal with these guys. Hey, research is complete. And our leaders are leveling up, which is also good. Uh, we have faster Corvette build speed now. Production targets. Ooh. Production targets. The, this edict is a focused administrative effort to reprioritize and reevaluate production goals, yielding a boost to mining output. Plus 20% monthly minerals. That's pretty nice. Mineral purification plants. I think that's an upgrade to the current mineral building, so yeah, we we can get that. I mean, afterburners could be good, uh, fusion missiles could be good. But I'm going to go with this because we haven't had much need for combat just yet, so we can kind of deprioritize the combat stuff. This could essentially be our first, uh, our first step into a combat situation, though, so we do want to be mindful of that. Oh yeah, hostile aliens with 1k power? I don't think we're anywhere near that. We have 149 right there, and this guy right here is 406. Uh, so we're actually, I guess, not that far out with that guy on our squad, because he's pretty solid. <laughs> All right, let everything tick. I may go in and redesign our ships while stuff is ticking. Uh, uh, okay, Veer. Wow. So Veer just had, like, a, a seizure or something. Whoa, Veer is continuing to have a seizure. Go ahead and research that, would you? Uh, let's look at 
our cheap our cheap heat fleets and see if there's anything we have that we can upgrade. Uh, doesn't look like there's upgrades there. Doesn't look like there's upgrades there. Coil gun is an upgrade. And that should replace both of these. There we go. And if we do that, the power goes up by 56 points. That's still not a ton, but that will take these guys from being like... 37 each to being 80 each, which isn't that bad. That'll actually get us close to the 1k that these aliens seem to have, should we need it. Uh, especially in combination with this guy. So I'm, I'm okay with that. I may actually go here and set these guys to upgrade. Because uh, I know that you can do that. I just don't know where the key is. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so they're all cheap heat ships. They're not able to upgrade for some reason because that's the upgrade button, right? No upgrades available. Did we not save in the, the ship designer? Is that what happened? Oh, duh. Okay, save it. And then now we should be able to go in here and upgrade. Yeah. Upgrade everybody. Good job. Uh, unfortunately, though, guys, that looks like all the time that we have for today. So I guess we'll discover who our new alien friends are next episode. Uh, thank you guys for all of the, the tips in the comments and, of course, for watching and hanging out with me. If you enjoyed the episode, go ahead and click that like button. If you want to see more of our great content ranging from 4X to, I guess this is technically an RTS. Maybe? Kind of? Not really. I don't know. Kind of. Uh, and all the way over to Fire Pro Wrestling, then absolutely click that subscribe button and make sure you ding that bell notification symbol because every time you ding that bell notification symbol, we correctly build a construction ship when it's time to have one. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye.